A big jump in flu cases this week has trackers on high alert. Liz Bonus joins us now with new concerns about the future of this year's outbreak. Liz? Hey guys, good evening once again. Within a week, the flu numbers we've seen in the tri-state appear to have hit the whole country. That could lead to potential problems we've not seen in nearly a decade, according to the Tri-Health Infectious Disease Team. How are you feeling? A little better than... Yeah. I'm feeling a little better than when I came in. She is on the mend now, but for the past few days, Bonnie admits... The coughing and the trying to breathe and that, it's really hard. Dr. Stephen Blatt says she is one of the patients he worries about getting the flu. For those with chronic medical conditions... Some of them ending up uh, with respiratory failure and having to go to the ICU on ventilators. That's because it appears a bad strain is the one rapidly spreading, according to flu trackers with the Centers for Disease Control. What they indicated is one of the strains that was included in the vaccine, there's been some sort of a mutation. And so the vaccine for that one strain is not covering uh, the way it normally would. And so that seems to be the strain that is, is being shared amongst everybody and spreading around. Carolyn Feudum showed me on these maps how what's different than in previous years is, watch this. Just about a month ago, only a few states showed widespread activity. They are covered in brown. By last week, the entire country is widespread all at the same time. For healthcare providers at hospitals, that means a lot more uh, admissions than we've had in at least the most recent years. It also means potential supply problems. There are issues with getting uh, adequate medications, adequate supplies. You know, some of the places in town are starting to run out of the equipment that we use to isolate patients because we've seen so much flu. In addition to that, however, it's the littlest lives they are worried about as well. Already here in this neonatal intensive care unit, they are restricting those who have access and they're asking anyone who might have concerns to wear one of these. Since it's not just the flu, it's the type of flu. We're seeing lots of aggressive cases. It's extremely dangerous for those who were born early and for those who have struggled to stay well. Luckily for Bonnie, she says with Dr. Blatt's team, she's got the best at her bedside. He saved my life a few times, literally saved my life. Hmm, what a nice thank you. Now, within the last hour, the CDC released its report for this week. A few states have had some numbers drop off, but it is too soon to tell if that means we are headed yet in the right direction.